Alright, so if you guys know anything about me as a person, I'm a genuinely nice guy. I don't like to cause in any arguments. I used to be very afraid of arguments growing up and conflict. Now I've grown more into myself and I learned that you need to have respect for yourself and stand up and stick up for what's right every now and then. And that's exactly what I did in this particular instance. Now just to reiterate, I'm never a person who likes to cause conflict or likes to instigate conflict. I'm always the type of person to avoid it if I can, especially with a random stranger, particularly someone who's 30, 35 years old a woman on a train who's sitting there minding her own business listening to music because she has nothing to do with me and she's not causing any harm to me but in this case she was being a complete ass and I'm gonna give you guys the story about it so I was just on the train with my girlfriend and she was actually surprising me at my house she came to my house at 1 in the morning if you guys watched the video she surprised me for Valentine's Day She's the best. So we're just minding our business on the train, looking out the window, enjoying the, the weather, and it was freezing outside. It was actually snowing, and this was the first time Yannette has seen snowfall. So we're just trying to soak it all in and enjoy ourselves before we go out to the city and go to a restaurant. So I begin to zone out into a very deep thought about the meaning of life. And then all of a sudden, Yannette taps me on the shoulder, and she goes, Doug, can you record me for a Snapchat or for some sort of a video to say thank you to a fan? And of course, I'm gonna tell her yes, and this next part is just best if I show you the video itself. Hola, yo soy Janet Garcia, quiero mandar un saludo muy especial desde Nueva York para Romeo. So a random stranger started coughing in the middle of the video. I said, all right, Janet, I'll just record you one more time. Hola, yo soy Janet Garcia. <laughs> So this is two times in a row, and keep in mind, before I start the video, I'm going uno, dos, tres. So there's a cue to this, and we found out that twice in a row, this woman decided to cough, and we're just thinking to ourselves, what a coincidence. There's no way this will happen three times in a row, right? Hola, yo soy Janet Garcia, y quiero mandar un saludo muy especial para Romeo. besos. So it happens three times in a row, but on this last one, she starts doing a very light cough, so we're thinking her coughs are all out of her system. She has nothing left in her. We're still cracking up. We're hysterical about all this, so we're going to go ahead and try to record for her fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is way too funny. Four times in a row? What a knee slapper! There's no way I could record four times in a row with a woman coughing coincidentally, right? But I look over to my side on my shoulder and I see she has music in and she's not looking at us, she's not making eye contact, so I'm thinking, wow! What a crazy coincidence. You know what? This would make a great story for me to turn on my vlog camera with and explain to my vlog. So this is what I decided to do and well, you guys are about to see what happens next. So we're on the train right now. We're heading to New York City. I was gonna wait to turn on my vlog, but she needs to record like a Snapchat video or a video to send to a fan, I guess, to say like, thank you for being a fan. And I swear, I just returned, I turned on her camera three times and I said, okay, one, two, three. She starts doing her thing and the woman behind me over here starts coughing. So I just can't Obnoxious. Wait, wait, wait. What? Did she just say that I'm obnoxious? Wait, you're fucking obnoxious. Wait, you're fucking obnoxious. Doug, you've been trained for these moments your entire life. You know exactly what to do in this situation. Whatever you do, don't lose your cool. Excuse me? Yep, there it goes. Goodbye, cool. See you later. I'm obnoxious, but you're coughing in the middle of her video. Three times in a row. On the train. Yeah. So it's public. Oh, it's public. So I could just cough in the middle of a video obnoxiously four times in a row. And then when somebody tries to call me out for it, I'm not the one who's in the wrong because I'm in public. I can do whatever I want. So unfortunately, at this exact specific frame, my finger accidentally slips and presses stop recording. So I don't have any more footage at all from this point on. But you guys could imagine what's going through my head right now. This woman is claiming because we're both in public, she's allowed to be obnoxious and do whatever she wants. And whenever somebody says something about it to her, she's allowed to call us obnoxious and be a hypocrite. So this woman ends up killing my vibe. And I told you, Nett, listen, we got to get up and move. So we got up to the next train in the car and I had to call my sister and my dad and vent to them for like 25 minutes telling them how much of a jackass this woman was being to us on the train and I usually don't let things like this get to me but for some reason it just got under my skin and I don't know what her purpose was behind it I don't know if she thought that we're some famous huge people on the internet and she could maybe get viral on the internet and get attention or maybe I would show her in my video without her permission and she could sue me and make money off of us but I think there's a broader message here and it also goes down to something that happened in the community recently with Keemstar's debate with Grade A Under A and this other YouTuber. They were talking about how this YouTuber does things in public, kind of like how this woman does, but he's a little bit more disrespectful about the things he does. And he does it strictly for attention, views, and money. And that's not the right thing to do, guys. So 
I wanted to use this example of this woman on a train to show you guys, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what her motive was behind it, but just to show you guys that, guys, things like this isn't cool, and if you're a good person and you try to do these things for the wrong reasons, just maybe use this video as a reason to not do that again in the future. I know everyone makes mistakes. I don't know if she was having a bad day. I don't know what her life was like before this moment in time. But you got to be able to forgive people and move on and just try to learn from other people's mistakes. So if you're thinking about doing something stupid for attention, then just don't do it. But that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see an arm workout video, let me know by dropping a like on this video and commenting down below exactly what you guys want to see from me. I enjoy doing this specific structure type of a video. It's a lot of fun for me to make a story and talk over what I do. So let me know what you guys like to see. Hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy, Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Description. I have it in my about on my YouTube page. So if you guys did send me anything in the past week or so, it's okay. It's going to go to my new one. But if you guys do want to send me anything at all, I'm going to have it sent to the new PO box. And last but not least, I have a huge giveaway I'm going to be announcing sometime within the next week or so. 